Good evening, I'm Jared Ertman here alongside Carson Osterman to bring you exciting Sheboygan A's baseball action. It's a great night for baseball, and tonight the A's take on the Green Bay Storm. The A's are 4-3 and three on the young season, suffered a couple of losses and a doubleheader this past weekend at Northern Illinois after taking one from Pewaukee in a non-league game and are now trying to gain some ground in the Northeastern Wisconsin League. Sheboygan currently sits at top of that league, so rather than gain ground, more like increase it. They're 2-0 thus far. Green Bay has yet to play a league game. They are 0-0 zero zero in the new. In the Wisconsin State League, the A's sit at the bottom of the Northern Division with a 1-3 and three record, two games behind West Allis. However, earlier in the season, the A's took a game from West Allis. It's quite an interesting one, 15-8. Not exactly a pitcher's duel, but plenty of runs to be had there. Uh, managers now exchanging lineups. And again, tonight looks to be a beautiful day for baseball. Beautiful night. It was just above 80 degrees here in Sheboygan today. And uh, now with the sun setting, it'll be a little cooler than that. A little breeze. Looks to be out. Not likely to affect many batted balls this evening. Tonight is Sponsors Night here at Wildwood Baseball Park, and the A's will be thanking all the many sponsors that help them field the team, keep up Wildwood Park, and make the Sheboygan A's an outstanding name in the community. Some of these sponsors include Bud Light and Larry's Distributing, a couple of the oldest sponsors of the A's, along with Miesfelds, makers of quality meats since 1941. Again, the A's coming into tonight 4-3 and three on the young season. They will be looking to improve on that, improve to 5-3, and three and increase their lead in the Northeastern Wisconsin League. Last season, the A's made it to the Northeastern Wisconsin League Championship after an outstanding regular season before falling to Menasha. We are just moments away from the National Anthem here at Wildwood Park. And here's the starting lineup for your Sheboygan A's. A's, of course, will be in the field as the home team. And in left, the Olsen in center, Dan Barwick in right, Dietert. Pitching for the A's will be Taylor Schwarz behind the dish, Fenner, and Harry Stelt at third. At short will be Hiley and Tyson at second and Ryan at first base. A 
Actually, a few last-minute changes to the A's lineup. Harry Stelt will be covering the first base side. And Carter Amundsen will be taking the third base side. I see the Green Bay lineup. Well, lineup for the visiting Green Bay Storm. Leading off will be Adam and Leah, followed by Mitch Egan. Then Tyler Brown, Bob Lemahue, then Cody Schaefer, Dominic Manzi, Cole Hansen, Mike Nitty, Keaton Kastenberg, and then on the hill for the Green Bay Storm, Adam Tolfson. So the National Anthem has been played, and we are set to go here at Wildwood Park as Schwarz begins to take his 
pregame warm-up pitches. Again, behind the dish for the A's tonight is Hayden Fenner. So Schwarz on the mound for the A's this evening, and last year he was the ace of the club with a 9-1 record and the ERA of 2.23, only bested by the 1.35 ERA of Ben Stanjic. Stanjic did miss majority of the season with an illness, and Schwarz ably manned the hill. And a single in the left to lead off the game. Oh, just like that, first pitch and the storm have a runner aboard. Here's Mitch Egan. Mitch Egan, a left-handed batter in the number two spot. Schwarz will throw over to first. He's back in time. Strike one called. That one got the outside corner. Another throw over to first. This one a little closer. But he dives back in safely. For sets and delivers. Swing, and this is a chance for two. They get him. Liner right back at Schwarz for a 1-3 doubler. And just like that, there are two outs. And here is Tyler Brown, center fielder for this Green Bay club. Well, that one got away from Schwarz a little. At least it got away from Fenner. Faded away. No harm, no foul with no one on base. Another pitch that Fenner has trouble handling. 2-0. and Schwarz delivers the next one, and that one was another one that he struggled with. It is 3-0. And he comes with the strike. Three balls, one strike. Schwartz winds and delivers. Swing, and that one will get down into center. And here is Bob Lemieux. He is the catcher for the storm. Swings at the first one, set him a weak pop up infield that Schwarz will underhand, and that is it. The storm leave one man stranded, don't put up any runs on two hits. 
After one half inning, the score is 0-0. Zero, zero. This is Sheboygan A's Baseball brought to you by Qmart. So it will be Adam Tolson on the mound for the Storm. Leading off for the A's will be Dan Barwick, followed by Carter Adamson and Harry Stelt. Stelt in his usual three spot that he's held down for a number of years. The A's have had many leadoff hitters over the past couple of seasons, especially last season. Now, Dan Barwick is going to be tried out in that spot. Ball one, that one was way outside. Tolson winds and delivers. Swing and a foul back to even the count. Next pitch is way inside. Byrick had to dodge out of the way of that one. Strike two called. Two and two is the count. So Tolson takes the sign. Winds and delivers. Swing and that's a well hit ball and it'll get over the head of Tyler Brown in center. Barwick going for two. He'll be in standing up. A leadoff double for Dan Barwick. Here is Connor Amundsen, the third baseman. Tolson working from the stretch now. And Edmondson puts one foul over the right field line. Faded out. That's a 
long strike. Tolson sets and delivers. Swung on and not fall this time up the third base line. And it is now 0-2 to Carter Amundsen. Swing and a miss. He got him on three pitches. Of course, he made some good contact, but couldn't put him fair. And that's out number one in the bottom half of the first inning. And here is Stelt. Stelt takes a strike, and that one was generous. Looked to be a bit out. Next one, a breaking ball that breaks out of the zone. Tolson looks to have more of a flat breaking curve. On a big bender. Next pitch. Fall weekly back, and it's one and two. Next one got him, and Stelt will get his bag. Here's Adam Ryan playing left fielder for the A's this evening. So runner board first, and a man on second gives the A's a scoring threat here. Ryan certainly wields the bat to drive some in, but he misses at that pitch to even the count at one apiece. Swing, sharp grounder to short, but no double play. They'll get the middleman. Ryan will reach on the fielder's choice. There's two away and runners on the corners. Here's Wyatt Olson. Swings at the first one, sent him. Into the backstop it goes. Strike two call. That one right down the middle. The 0 2 pitch. Swung on, and that one's a grounder to the pitcher. Tolson will scoop it up and throw on the one for out number three. A's leave two stranded on one hit. And after one complete, it is still a scoreless ball game. 
This is Sheboygan A's Baseball, brought to you by Trilling True Value Hardware. Cody Schaefer will lead things off for the storm here in inning number two at Wildwood Baseball Park. On this sponsor's night, Schwarz sends him an off speed pitch that gets in there for a strike. Next one, the same. Might have gotten a piece of it, faulted back a little. So it's 0-2. Schwarz allowed a couple of hits in the first frame. No runs. And now a bouncer to short, highly has it, throws on the run, and that is out number one. Here's the designated hitter, Dominic Manzi. Swings at the first one, sent him. That'll be a... Hopper to first, Stealth will flip to Schwarz for the 3 1. Two up, two down, and he will be Cole Hansen. Swings at the first one, sent him. Routine play to second. And the storm will go down in short order in the second. It remains scoreless. This is Sheboygan A's Baseball brought to you by Phase Pizza.
Nate Hiley will be the leadoff batter in inning number two for the A's. Hiley, a right-handed hitter. Like his older brother. Possesses some power of his own, but is also very much known for his glove. Made a couple of amazing stops in the game versus West Dallas. Manning that middle alley. Now, Hiley will swing and miss, leaving the count at 2-2. Two and two. And ball three. The first full count of the game. Two batter on either team, so the payoff pitch from Tolson. Well, that'll be up and away, and Hiley will take his base. Here is Taylor Schwartz. Dangerous man on mound. Also has an able bat. He is one A's pitcher that is not designated hit for. He fills out the number seven spot in the A's lineup this evening. Not only is he not designated hit for, he's a little bit up the lineup. Tolson, a couple of throws over, keeps highly close, and then throws ball one. Tolson sets and delivers that ball fouled into the backstop to make it one and two. Tolson, a left-handed pitcher, a pretty big leg kick from the stretch. Of course, he can get away with that. And now he got Schwarz looking. Fooled him there. And that's out number one. Here's Hayden Fenner. Ball one. That one way outside. And strike one. Cut over the outside third of the plate. So it is one and one. Next one is a little low. Strike two called. Tolson again sets and delivers. That one a breaking ball that stayed up in the zone to fill the count. So 
Tolson sets and delivers the payoff pitch. Swung on, and Fenner spins himself around and heads back to the dugout. And here is Trevor Tyson, batting in the nine spot, playing second tonight. Takes a high pitch. Tyson's action was somewhat limited last season. So the Aves had quite a bit of depth across the roster. He did bat 320. Four runs batted in. Now he swings and misses at the 2-0 pitch. And then looks at one. So the 2-2. Two -two. And it will be a foul tip that Lemahue will not hold on to. Some high stuff. Tyson fights it off. This A's club has a diversity of hitting styles. Some guys more aggressive, some like to hang back. Patient. Now Tyson is sent packing. He looked at it, and that'll be all for the second inning. It remains 0 0. This is Sheboygan A's baseball brought to you by Bud Light. So we are headed into inning number three here at Wildwood Park, and to bring you the next couple, here's Karsten Userman. Excuse me, Carson Userman. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Carson Osterman and leading off here we have Mike Nitty for Green Bay. And we have the first pitch being a foul ball to the first base side. Pitch number two 
is a strike. And he's towards the rivers, and it is a swinging strike for strike number three, and the first out of the inning. Now up, we have number nine, Keaton Kasberg. And the first pitch is a ball high. And pitch number two. Looks like it's going to be a hopper to third base, and he's going to fumble it. And safe on one. And he goes for two. Casper getting the double on the air. Now up, we have Adam and Mia. And pitch number one looks like it's going to be a low ball. And Casper takes third on the steal with the pass pitch. The count is 1-0, and oh, and we have a runner on third with one out. And the second pitch looks like it's going to be a ball low. And pitch number three looks like it's going to be a foul tip. Bringing the count to two and one. Looks like and we had took it off the foot a little bit there. And here comes pitch number four. And it's gonna be a shot to left field. And that's gonna bring one in for Green Bay. And they're gonna hold him at second. Now up, we have number 18, Mitch Egan. And that one is going to be a strike for pitch number one. And the swing strike for strike number two. Count is now 0-2, and we have a runner on second for Green Bay. And swing strike for strike number three, and that makes two outs for this inning. Now up, we have number seven, Tyler Brown. Schwartz steps off towards second, but he remains safe. Looks like it's going to be a ball inside for the first pitch. And that was going to be a strike right down the tubes. And pitch number three looks like it's going to be a swinging strike. The 
count is now one and two. And pitch number three is a swing strike, making out three for this inning. And And leading us off here in the bottom of the third inning will be Dan Barwick. And first pitch. Be a ball inside. Barwick had to move his feet out of the way for that one. And looks like it's going to be a nice hit to center field, but it's going to be caught by the center fielder. Bottom of the third here. Now up, we have number 14, Carter Edmondson. Alright, and here comes the first pitch, and it's going to be a strike. Wind up. And second pitch is delivered, and he's going to be hit by the pitch. That puts a runner on first with one out. Now up, we have number 19, Harry Stelt. Edmondson takes the steal for second. Pitch number one was a strike. And here comes pitch number two, and it's going to be inside, but he's going to go for it, and it's going to be foul to behind the plate. Count is now 0-2 with one out and a runner on second.
pitch number three. It's going to be a swing strike for strike number three and out number two of the bottom of the third. Now up, we have number 39, Adam Ryan. Pitch number one is going to be a strike. Emmonson still on second. Pitch number two is going to be a strike as well, but he's going to be swinging this time. Bringing the count to 0-2 with two outs. And pitch number three is going to be a ball high and outside. And the fourth pitch is going to be a swing strike for out number three. And that's going to be it for the third inning. All right, welcome back. Leading us off is going to be number 12, Bob Lemuk. And the first pitch delivered by Schwartz is going to be a strike. And pitch number two is going to be a ball outside and in the dirt. We're going to count to one and one now. And third pitch. It's going to be a foul ball behind the plate. And pitch number four is going to be a swing strike stopped halfway and then that's out number one Second baseman, number three, Cody Schaefer. now up we have number three Cody Schaefer pitch number one is going to be a strike And pitch number two is going to be a ball low and outside. And looks like pitch number three is going to be a swinging strike.
And the fourth pitch is going to be a swing strike, but it's dropped. But the out is still made. That makes two outs in the top of the fourth here. Up next is number five, Dominic Manzi. And it's going to be a fall ball to the first base side. And the second, oh, looks like we got a time called here. And second pitch, be a hit right to Schwarz. And for the third out of the fourth inning. All right, leading off your A's here is going to be number 34, Wyatt. Pitch number one was a strike. And pitch number two is going to be a ball outside. Count is now one and one with no outs. And third pitch is going to be a strike right on the edge of that strike zone. Bring the count to one and two. And that's going to be the third strike and the first out for this bottom. Pitch number one is a strike for Hiley. And pitch number two was a was a strike as well. And here comes the third pitch. And a foul tip to behind the plate, third, first base side. Count is now 0-2 with one out for your Sheboygan A's. And 
pitch number four is going to be a swinging strike. That one looked like it was almost in the dirt. Seven, now up we have your pitcher, Taylor Schwarz. Coming up to the plate with two outs and no one on base. Looked like that one was way inside, but he was going to swing for it, so it was a foul for strike number one. And here comes the second pitch. And it looks like it's going to be a hook to... Looks like it's going to be out of the park, but foul. Bring the count to 0 and 2. He could straighten that one out. Could have a good chance to score. And it looks like that's going to be a ball high, bringing the count to one and two with two outs. And it looks like it's going to be a foul ball right down the third baseline. Count remains at one and two. Schwartz is staying alive here. Count is one and two. And the pitch. And looks like it's gonna be another foul ball to over the fence, third base side. And here's the pitch. And looks like it's going to be in the dirt, but hit foul. And that is out number three for Sheboygan A's. So here we are in the top of the fifth. Hello everyone, I am Jared Ertman, back with you here at Wildwood Baseball Park. Your Sheboygan A's taking on the Green Bay Storm in the Northeastern Wisconsin League game. Taylor Schwarz has been doing a fantastic job, as always, on the mound. 
Given up three hits thus far and only one run. Of course, the A's have a couple of errors that have largely contributed to that run as well. Swing and a foul away. So the one-two pitch, he got him looking. One up, one down for the Storm in the fifth. Here's Mike Nitty, the third baseman. And he sends one that'll fall in shallow right. For a nice little Texas leaguer. Oh, Mataborn as Keaton Kastenberg comes to the plate. Chopper that makes it through the right side. Now two men aboard for the storm. And back to the top of the order, Adam and Wea. Strike one called. Schwartz working from the stretch. Oh, that one got away from him. He had and we are on the helmet. And it'll load the bases. Here is Mitch Egan, and the storm are really threatening here. Strike one called. Swing, and that one will get through the left side. One run scores. And the bases remain loaded. Better fielder number seven, Tyler Brown. <laughs> Here is Tyler Brown. Schwarz sends him a hard fastball low in the zone. Another one low in the zone. This one, Brown, fights off, sends foul. It is 0 and 2. Now, Brown just. Put one out there, just stuck his bat out, knocked it foul. Swing, and this one deep into left center, but it will be caught by Barwick. It'll be a sacrifice as another run is in. Here's Bob Lemahieu, the catcher. 
Still two men aboard here for the storm. Two away. Storm have tripled their lead. Uh, sharply hit grounder to second. Routine play, and the A's get out of it. But the Storm put two more up, and after four and a half, it is the Green Bay Storm three. The Sheboygan A's nothing. This is Sheboygan A's baseball brought to you by Larry's Distributing. To the bottom of the fifth we go, and leading off for the A's will be Hayden Fenner. First pitch in Fenner is a strike. Tolson sends him the next one. That's a ball. It's one and one. And the next one is a ball. Tolson's only allowed one hit thus far and has held the A's scoreless. Now time is called. Next one is inside. That will fill the count. Now a slow roll to second. He might beat it out. And he does. Infield single for Fenner. Tony Schaefer had to charge it and try to barehand it. He could not find the handle. And Fenner gets a leadoff single. Second baseman, number 11, Trevor Tyson. Here's Trevor Tyson. Fenner goes and the hit and run was on, but it's not fall.
A is trying to develop their inside game after losing a bunch of their heavy hitters from last season. Trying to generate some runs with the inside game. Swing and a foul into the backstop makes it 0-2. Throw over to first. Fenner back in plenty of time. Swing and a miss. Down goes Tyson. So here is Dan Barwick representing the top of the A's order. And we throw over to first. Fenner back in time. Now swing, and yeah, that one will be caught and left, and they're going to try to double up Fenner, but the throw is off, and he'll be back in time. So Barwick made solid contact with that one. Didn't fall, so it represents out number two. So here is Carter Amundsen. Amundsen takes ball one. Now Fenner goes. The throw is on time, but high. A little off. So Fenner hustles down to steal a bag. So the A's with that have a man in scoring position. So a 2-0 count, Holson sets and delivers. That one was high and inside. Make it 3-0. and Three zero. Thompson sets delivers. That one was low, and the A's will have two men aboard here. So the A's maybe with a chance. As here comes Harry Stelt. Strike one to Stelt. Looked at a fastball. Next one was way inside. So Stelt, the kind of man you want up in a situation like this. 41 RBI last season, three home runs. 
as the most RBIs of those returning the A's this season. Body swings and misses at that one. Some sends him one, and that one will get down and right. It's going to roll to the wall. One will score. And the next one is being waved home. So that is a two RBI double off the bat of Harry Stelt. How about that? That swing of the bat, the A's have cut the storm lead to one. It's three to two. And here is Adam Ryan batting in the four spot. Rather big gap in right center. Playing the pole for the right hand left handed, excuse me, the left handed Ryan. Next pitch is outside. One and one it is. Swing and a miss. Big cut there. Really wasn't on it at all. Swing and a miss. Another one that he was not close to being on. And the A's will be sent down in the fifth. But not before. Scoring a couple. And after five complete, it is now Green Bay Storm 3 or Sheboygan A's 2. This is Sheboygan Baseball brought to you by Sargento. Leading off in the top of inning number six will be Cody Schaefer. Fourth winds and delivers. Swing, and that one hangs up there and left, but he misplayed it, and that'll get down. Ryan came in on it, but that one was hit pretty well, and it got over his head. So it should have maybe been a catch, but the way it is, it's a double. So here's Dominic Manzi, the designated hitter. And he will look at a breaking ball that will not find the zone. 
Forge has been mostly throwing heat tonight. A few breakers, but not lying too heavy on the breaking pitches and off-speed stuff. Fall ball now will make it one and one. And then strike two. Good pitch low in the zone. That's the spot that Schwartz has been looking for all night. He's hit it on occasion. Oh, a swing and a foul back. Swing and a miss. He got him. Cole Hansen. Very pinch hitter being sent out. This will be Marcus Lamarck. Mark will be pinch hitting for Cole Hansen. So the storm trying to get some more offense in here, making some changes. Holding on will run, run, lead. Schwarz working to keep it just at that. Swing and a dribbler that goes foul. That one just missed inside, and you know Taylor Schwartz wanted that one. But he got the next one on the outside corner. One and two. Four sets and delivers. That one was high and outside. That one looked like it fell in there, but no. The count is full. Swing. Chopper back to the mound. Schwarz gets it over to first. Four out number two. Mike Nitty, the third baseman, steps in, swings at the first one, sent him. This will be another one for Schwarz. Gets it over to first, and that is number three. So the Storm leave one runner stranded, and it's three to two after five and a half. This is Sheboygan A's Baseball, brought to you by Legend Larry's.
bottom of inning number six. And the lead off man is Wyatt Olsen. Olsen steps in, swings and misses at the first pitch, sent him. Adam Tolson still on the mound for Green Bay, looking here in inning number six. Looking out of the stretch here. Tolson sets and delivers. Strike two called. So it's one and two. Olsen looking for his pitch to hit. Time now called. Yes, tonight is sponsors night here at Wildwood Baseball Park. Again, the A's thanking their many sponsors for making the A's the great organization that they are and allowing the A's to put some fine baseball on the field. Fall away makes it one and two or keeps it at one and two. Swing, this one driven into the gap in left, and it will get down. Olsen rounds, but heads back. Nice little single. And here is Nate Hiley. Alley squares to bunt. Sounded like a fall tip. Again, the A's trying to work the inside game. Some small ball. Alley again squares to bunt. Throw over to first. Olsen is back in time. Finally, he pulls back, ball one. Then ball two. Miley is scoring away early. Hangs the bat out there, but he didn't make any contact. Maybe he got a piece of it. In any event, it's two and two. Throw him to first. Olsen dives back. He's there in time. So Olsen, rather Thompson, sets, checks Olsen over at first. Now time is called. That one was way, way out there. Just got away from Tolson. Could see that right from his release that that one was a lookout pitch. Next one, way inside. That was the payoff. 
but it will result in runners on first and second for the A's as Hiley takes his bag. And here is pitcher Taylor Schwartz. Can do it. He's got some. Schwarz with a couple of runners out there for him. Runners on first and second. No outs. Schwarz again has some power at the plate and some hitting ability. One of the few, uh, perhaps the only A's pitcher who is not designated hit for. He is a dual threat. He's got two men on, two men on for him now. Throw over to first. Highly dives back. He's there. A little bit of an infield shuffle going on there for the Green Bay Storm. Not quite sure what they're trying to affect there, but nothing comes of it. Now Schwarz squares to bunt. And he puts it down. A nice one right back to the mound. The throw. And Schwarz is out, but he advances the runners. So two men in scoring position now for the A's. One away, and here is Hayden Fenner. Strike one called on Fenner. Swing, and this one, a fly ball that is heading foul, but it is caught, and a run will score, though. A little miscommunication by the Green Bay Storm, and the A's take full advantage. How about that for some heads-up baseball? Lemieux, the catcher, Thompson and Nitty were all hustling for the ball. It was caught by Lemieux, but no one covered home. That left a opportunity to take and score, which the A's took. Olsen tagged and went, and we now have a tied ball game. Three to three. Runner aboard third, and here's Trevor Tyson. Tyson has a ball pass real close to him. That's ball one. So the A's have had a couple of errors tonight and a few misplays, but real good heads up play there evens the score. So how about it? It's three to three and it's really a brand new ball game here at Wildwood Park. Swing and a miss. Think that one fooled Tyson. Makes it one and two. To 
Tolson. Sets and delivers. Swing by Tyson. This one might drop. It will. And it's an RBI single. And with that, the A's take the lead. A little Texas leaguer for Trevor Tyson, but that's all the A's need to edge ahead of the storm and bring them back to the top of the order. Here is Dan Barwick. Over to first, and he got Tyson. So some heads up plays and some not so heads up plays. But the A's are able to pull ahead. After six complete, it is your Sheboygan A's for the Green Bay Storm three. This is Sheboygan A's baseball brought to you by Dufour Advertising. Leading us off for Green Bay, we have Keaton Casberg here in the top of the seventh, and the first pitch is going to be a ball high, it looks like. And pitch number two, looks like it's going to be a hit right on the inside, broken bat, and out at first. Looked like that was way inside, but it looked like he was still going to go for it. Now we're at the top of the order for Green Bay with Adam Anwia, number 21, and one out in this inning. And looks like it's going to be a fly out past the third baseline, and it's going to be foul ball. And the pitch, and looks like it's gonna be a ball high. And here comes pitch number three, and we have a strike, bringing the count to one and two with one out. And here comes the fourth pitch, and it looks like it's gonna be a ball low. And right down the third baseline, and he's going to just miss the throw. Harry Stout just missed that one. <laughs> 